All right, so I just want to dive into it, um, talk about this class and some manual therapy techniques um, in our differential class by our professor, Dr. Suecki. And those of you who don't know him, he's really great, uh, awesome guy, uh, probably like one of the bigger names people out there, and he's at our university. Anyway, um, he taught us, um, going through the class, we were learning how to palpate different organs in the body, like the thyroid gland, um, going down to the chest, how to move and, and, and uh, palpate the viscera, so like the uh, stomach, the GI tract, uh, the uh, bladder and things like that. It was crazy. First thing you're going to do is you're going to put your finger on your chin. You're going to start midline, and you're going to slowly go down until you feel that first bony cartilage. Right there. I'm trying to palpate the thyroid yeah, gland. The thyroid cartilage. You're going to go over the lung. Come underneath and see if you can find Sorry. where the start of the tripod cartilage is. Over the lung. Oh, oh. Okay, where the start of that tripod cartilage is. That is, right uh, if you go right onto that tripod cartilage, that is right where the, the thyroid isthmus is, okay? That's the, if you look at the butterfly, that's where the body of the butterfly is, right? The wings are the, on the outside edge. So now you're going to come to that tripod cartilage and you're going to go lateral. What I want you to do is I want you to gently push in. I want you to see first, if you push in on both sides, is the depth the same on both sides? Is the depth the same? It really benefits and it's easier if they flex their neck a little. Mm, yeah, they flex their neck a little bit, then the tension is off the muscles. Ooh. So you're palpating. Thank you. I think your left one goes deeper than the right. Yeah. Yeah. You have to like go I feel pushback more so quicker I'm, on your right. You're going to palpate anterior and posterior to see if the, the depth is the same. Then what you're going to do is you're going to trace the outside of the wings. And you're going to say, are the sides the same? And then the third thing you're going to do is you're going to palpate along the top of it to see if you feel or not. I barely pressed down to There's no way that would have worked. <laughs> Got you back, dude. <laughs> right? Then the thoracic extension. Go ahead and bring your elbows to the ceiling. And I, once again, I'm trying to stabilize here, so he doesn't have a lot of mobility there anymore. But if I ask him, go ahead and bring your elbows to the ceiling, it looks like he gets a lot, right? Mm. But that's really all of our windows. Okay, and not really focusing a lot on the thoracic spine. So a lot of times what I'll do with thoracic flexion, I'll say my cue for him is I want you to bring your elbows to your belly button. So he brings his elbows to his belly button. And then <laughs> He doesn't have that much thoracic flexion, right? It's, so what was all that? Lumbar. Lumbar, right? So I keep my hand here to stabilize. Bring your elbows to your belly button. And he doesn't have that much. Rib on this side, and that's kind of right where the lower esophageal sphincter is. So we're going to identify that first, okay? Then as we come along, I go, okay, the stomach should be below that. So I start to push through, there's his rib. And so, so if you look at it, it's kind of shaped like this, right? So the sphincter sits here and drops in. And so you're just gonna have this swinging that kind of comes like this, okay? So, so you guys can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you see his stomach right there? Oh my god. He's going to blow up. Yeah, so this is the splash zone. So now they trace along. You'll start to see. Okay, so it starts to dive a little deeper here. And as I start to get in, I feel right here is where you get that duodenum. Okay, it sits underneath the transverse. So. I'll get, I'm pushing kind of the transverse up out of the way and getting under and I feel kind of where the, the arch is. So I feel kind of where this is. So I'm tracing along here 
and I, I start to hit that structure there. Mm -hmm. So, so you're on this center then right now? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm pushing the transverse. See, this is his stomach right here, mm -hmm. and his transverse sits right there. So I'm pushing his transverse kind of up out of the way, and I push laterally, and I hit a structure. Okay. And that's the duodenum right there. <laughs> okay. And I can feel, with my fingers, I can feel the arch of that, that duodenum as I come along. <laughs> Sitting there, arch around. And I arch around, and I arch around, and now I've, I've completed the arch around that. So I've gone through that arch, and now I'm on the back side of the roller coaster, right? And so now, as I come to the back side of the roller coaster, then I start to hit all the mesentery, all the jejunum, right? And it's just this big mass of, of tubes. So you're not going to be able to individually feel tubes there. You're going to feel a mass of tubes. But when I get into that mass of tubes, what I'll do is I'll start to come under. So this all area is a mass of tubes, right? It's all the mesentery and all the... So, uh, <laughs> you're going to start to feel this sac here, okay? And so what I do is I come on the underside of it, and this whole stuff is the sac, okay? So I, I start to say, okay, how does that sac... <laughs> and he's a, he's a little... It should move fairly smoothly, and he's a little stuck right there. Oh, yeah. He's like, <laughs> and then, since the sack is three dimensional, I'll come on this side and get under the sack. And I'll lift it up and feel how it moves kind of this direction. <laughs> and he's a little stuck right there. <laughs> Really it's supposed to. It's supposed to be tethered, but it's not supposed to be. It should have ability to flex and move, and it should be able to flex and move equally. But he. So you have back pain now? Right there. Ooh. Okay. Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like asking someone to talk when they go to the dentist, right? <laughs> okay. So then it jumps out right over here. So we start to get to. <clears throat> um, we start to get to this area right here. Okay. This is the ileocecal valve. It sits right inside the ASIS. So you can start to feel this, the tube as it comes over here. You can start to see it's a little deeper. So you start to feel the tube as it comes up. <laughs> then you start to see this, you hit that, and you start to come down and across. So you start to feel that, and it comes down. And <laughs> see, sometimes it's hard to get this angle right here, because that tucks right up under the ribs. So I'm catching it here, and I'm catching it right here. And then there was another section, which was pretty cool about how he was uh, doing a pretest on a straight leg race, so the lower extremity, and then the leg only went up this much. And then he went somewhere in the arm, and he found some adhesion, uh, something tight, and then he kind of like loosened it up. And then when he went to check back at the leg, the leg went up higher. So he kicks in a little earlier. Hi. All right, Does that change it at all? Mm -hmm. Better or worse? Better. Okay. I need a new patient. <laughs> Come up on this side. Okay. Right there. Okay. Tell me when. Right there. Better? Worse? Better. Okay. So what would you guys call that? Neural tension. Nothing anymore. anymore. <laughs> so the interesting thing is that <sighs> take you into that position. No way. Tell me when you start to seal something. Okay, so it comes on quicker, right? Bring your arm to the side or back down to your side. That changes it all. 
better or worse? Better. Okay. So you can see how the whole system is kind of connected together, right? And you'll see that if I come into here, right here, And all I'm doing is what we worked on earlier with our hands. I'm shredding chicken. Right? Shredding chicken. Into the dark meat. Into the light meat. There's the wishbone. Make a wish. So I'm just uh, loosening it up there, okay? And now all I'm doing is taking what I've loosened up and taking the tissue off and getting it to kind of glide through that now that I've opened it up. So all I'm doing is pulling the tissue out of, out of the way and letting it kind of glide. Is that like an ART? Uh, no, it's a SRT. It's wake release therapy. <laughs> 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 So now I put it in there. It's not all the way down, but I keep them there. Tell me when you feel something. What? Oh, there. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's got some Lolita range. <laughs> so you can see how the whole peripheral system is kind of attached together, right? Now, do I know if this is nerve or blood vessel yet? No, because uh, there's other things that we have to ask questions about histories and things like that. Remember at the beginning, I also showed you that one where we kind of lift up the heart. We can do that kind of test to see if he got more motion in here as well. It makes you think about how much the body is uh, connected. And uh, I mean, that could be from the vascular, neural, could be from the fascia, like who knows what exactly happened. But there is no question about it that um, that the body is connected and that when you release some other parts that are far away from what is injured, things can still affect what is injured even though it's so far away. Try it out, put it in the comments below and tell me if you found any success with that. Change people, change people. That's why we live for change people. Have a great one you guys.